You're listening to the Art Cityscape. Okay, I'm here with Leslie, who is the city's public art coordinator. Leslie, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself a little bit? Just tell us who you are, what you do for the city, maybe what you've done before. Sure. Um, I'm Leslie mckay Gleaves. I am the public art coordinator for Springville City. I've been in this role since January of 2023. Prior to that, I was at the museum in the education department since 2015. So I've been in the city for a few years, um, and now I'm in this new role as public art coordinator. Awesome. And that's a big change from what you were doing before to now with the museum. Um, What excites you about being the public art coordinator and that being a function of the museum? Yeah, it's exciting. It's a new adventure. I think my time at the education department at the museum really helped me to focus on things that were happening inside of the museum, um, connecting people with art that we have in the building. And so I'm really excited for this opportunity to move that out into the city and the community and bring the artwork and that visual art experience and performing and expanding it to other art forms as well out into the city and to the residents. I know that you've been really busy since being in the role and a lot's going on. Um, Maybe could you explain to us some of the things that are in progress or that have happened since you've started? Yeah. So in the last seven months, we have started to move forward on different art projects around the city. The first one we did was a skate park mural. Um, That's been a really fun and exciting project that we started with. We have a couple of more murals in process right now in downtown Springville. We're working on a sculpture at the Westfield Central Development and some exciting things happening with the power plant. So there's there are a lot of public art projects that will be popping up around the city in the coming years. That's awesome. I think it's really cool. I was thinking about the skate park mural a little bit, and that's at Memorial Park. And for a long time, that had kind of sat and gotten old. And I think something that's exciting about public art that you just talked about is we've got some new developments that we're going to bring public art to, but there are also things you can do to bring public art to um, places that are not so new and need refreshing. And it seems like the community responded really well to that skate park event and and mural. Yeah, we had a wonderful unveiling of of the murals at the skate park earlier in the summer, um, hosted by the artist as well as some of our public art committee youth members. Um, And we just had a big skate jam where the community was able to come out and see the artwork, participate in skateboarding and using their scooters on the new surfaces. And it was just a really fun environment that brought a lot of the city together. Awesome. Okay, so one of the main things I wanted to talk about on this podcast, and I'm sure you're eager to talk about, is the art festival coming up. Uh, It's in about a month from when we're recording, maybe like three weeks from when this gets posted. Um, But can you tell us some details about that, the date, where it's going to be? Sure. So our Art Festival this year will be on September 15th and 16th. So September 15th, Friday night, that is going to be a movie screening at Arts Park. Um, We have an awesome local filmmaker who's had this movie at Sundance and now will be able to preview it, which is just super exciting. And that is going to be aliens have abducted my parents and now I kind of feel left out. So it's a fun family friendly movie um, that will be shown at seven o'clock that night at the arts park and we'll have food trucks there as well. So food trucks will open at six. The movie presentation will start at seven awesome. that night. And then Saturday, September 16th, we are hosting the art festival in downtown Springville. So the majority of it will be here at the Civic Center. We'll have artist booths um, selling their work. We'll have artist demos, which is a new newer addition, um, bringing in some professional artists that are doing glass blowing, um, encaustic artwork, painting, stained glass, and they'll kind of show us the process of how those um, art forms work. And then we'll have food trucks as well as multiple performances that are happening. Awesome. That sounds great. So 
this is the third time we're having the art festival. It seems like it's growing and we're figuring out little by little what it's supposed to be. What's been your focus this year in terms of maybe things that are different or expanded from before? Yeah. So with any new event, the first few years are kind of going to be trial and error and listening to feedback from the community on what they would like to see moving forward. One of the things that we listened to from last year was the, the, the element of film. So that brings in our our movie night on Friday night. Um, and then we're also going to be able to use the Rivoli on Main Street as a location to host some local filmmakers and do some film screenings on, on the Rivoli stage throughout the day. And so that will be really fun and exciting and is a new addition. Another element that we're excited about for the festival this year is expanding the location from the Civic Center throughout downtown. So taking the road in front of the library towards 200 East, south on 200 East towards the museum, and then east on 400 South in front of the museum back to Main Street and Main Street back north up to the Civic Center. So that 10-block perimeter radius is what will be a future art project called the Art Loop. And it will have multiple interactive art elements. And we really we are excited to bring that into the festival this year. Um, we're hosting the plein air events that people can participate in. Um, and they'll be painting and sculpting around that art loop perimeter um, the entire day of the art festival. So you're welcome to walk around, interact with them, see them working live. We'll have a paint out, which is um, an element of painting that they just paint what they see in front of them. So they'll be positioned at different points across that art loop. And then a new element this year is the sculpt out. So we'll actually have sculptors of different types of mediums also with the painters around the loop. So that'll be fun to kind of interact with throughout the day. Okay. So that sounds awesome. And, you know, Leslie, you've worked at the museum and the museum is known both here and regionally and uh, does an incredible job of displaying mostly a lot of visual art. Um, Seems like the festival can play a role in um, expanding what we think of as art and what we feature as art city. Could you maybe respond to that? Yeah, so the opportunity the festival provides is really to focus on the local talent that we have in other art forms, bringing in that element of performing arts and music and dance and film. Um, There are so many talented people that we have right in our own community, and I think having a festival like this really highlights the diversity um, that we have and really makes our identity as art city more whole than just having a city with an art museum. Awesome. So overall, you've talked a lot about the the festival and its different elements. If I come or I come with my family, what, what kind of experience and things can we expect? Yeah, it's going to be such a fun party. It's going to be a day of celebrating all different types of art forms. We've got poets, storytellers, filmmakers, dance, music, Um, culinary arts, so many different fun things for you to do with your family. Um, All of the the Chalk the Walk is a free event to register for if you want to participate in that with your family, as well as the plein air events for painting and sculpting. So come on down. There's a lot of fun things to do, and it'll be a fun day to celebrate with our community. Okay, so again, that sounds great. We're really looking forward to it. And maybe to close, could you go through the hours again of the festival and and when people should show up? Yeah, so we'll be at the Arts Park Friday, September 15th from 6 to 9 p.m. And then here at the Civic Center and around downtown Springville on Saturday, September 16th from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And ending with a fabulous community dance and a local band called Monkey Friday. Awesome. That sounds great. Thanks for joining us.